Okay, next is we have prisms. Same concept lang yun yung ganina. Ganina lang mga goods itong cylinder class. Atong top and bottom, atong mga base circle. Ang prism is actually any any polygon. Uh, pwede siya inani, pentagon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. O yeah, pwede siya square, pwede pentagon, or unsa pa ba na hexagon, whatsoever. Basta kung dili, ganina circle man to. Karun is kung dili siya circle, mo ni siya. Prism na nato natong tawag ana. So, same concept lang gihapon. Gumukuha kag volume, area of the base, of area sa base, whatever base that is, class, kung pila man na siya ka-side, kuha ni mong area ato, times the height. Uh, yung lateral surface area is still, whichever base na siya, whatever base na siya, class, kuha ni mo yung perimeter, then the lateral edge, or the height, kani. Kani mo good, lateral edge mo good, walang tawag, ano niya. Ang total surface area is still the same. Lateral surface area plus the area sa top and sa bottom. Okay? And that's it. So, solve ta ha. And take note, dahil nagbutaw ang diriya o oh, note. Natin ginatawag na apothem. Kung wala mo kailaklas, ang apothem is the line or is the distance uh, from the center of that polygon going to paana? Going to the uh, midpoint of sa isa ka side so naka perpendicular dapat na siya kana siya na linya that's what we call apothem so gikan sa center padalon diri a ni naka 90 degrees midpoint ni ha apothem daw tawag ato okay so solve ta sample problems okay so apparently nagban out no pero sige padayon ta Asan na to? Yeah, so prisms the right. So solve the three problems for prisms. Uh, we have here the bases of a triangular prism or 12 centimeters apart. Find the total surface area of the prism if one side of the equilateral triangle base measures 6 centimeters. So yung pasabot lang is this. Uh, triangular right prism. So triangular. Ano? Triangle yung yeah, bases. Sorry, guys. Right prism, meaning to say, tulid siya. Dili siya tong oblique ba? Ana. 12 centimeters apart mo doon yung base. So, 12 ni. Diba? Uh, tapos, equilateral triangle daw siya. So, 6 centimeters. Therefore, but pasabot lang na niya. 6 ni, 6 ni, 6 po ni. Equilateral triangle man daw siya. Ang ginapangita sa problem is the total surface area. So, TSA. So, ang total surface area is what? Diba? It's just the lateral surface area plus the area sa imuhang taas o baba. 2 times area of the top and bottom. Parag ana ba? So, mo ito siya. Um, sige, sige, sige. Um, sa ang lateral surface area plus Diba ang ato ang lateral surface area kilid lang man. So kumbaga kani oh kilid lang na kay 12, na kay 6. So ang lateral surface area is tulok ka in ani. Kaning sa front o katong sa mga kilid. So tulok ka in ana, so tulok ka 6 times 12. So pila yang lateral surface area? That is 216. Diba? Human imuhang area sa top and bottom. Sa top and bottom na to is triangle man. 6, 6, 6. Okay, so unsagi area sa equilateral triangle? Diba square root of 3 over 4 s squared man na? Equilateral triangle. Pwede po mo mag formula ha. Wala problema na siya class. Uh, pero, kamo na lang try ato. Pero, again, kani siya na formula. This is the area of an equilateral triangle. So, kapag nag-take mo board exam, if you're reviewing for the board exam class, gamit yun po o ka-memorize mo ni Basic formula na lang mo siya. Kaysa mag formula pa mo, medyo taas pa ang process. Although, if, of course, if pas-pas mo mo calculator, then good for you. Pero kato lang, if hinay mo mag-calculator, tapos mag formula pa gid mo, malangay na gid mo. Time is of the essence pa pag sa mathematics na board exam. Pero, kato ha, if nakalimot mo ani, next option is for you to do the Heron's formula. Wala problema to class. Ah, saan ako? So, yeah, square root of 3 over 4. S squared is 6. Na lang na siya. So, pila man na siya, class. Um, hmm. 
that's 9 square root of 3. Yeah, that's 9 square root of 3. So, pila ang total surface area na to? That is just lateral surface area na 216 plus duha ka in ane. 9 square root of 3. Diba? Duha ka triangle sa top o sa bottom na to. So, pila ni siya class. This is times 2. Plus 216. The answer is 247.18. Centimeter cube. I see squared, squared, sorry. Squared. Alright, and that's it. See you next. A right prism has a square base and a lateral edge of 10 centimeters. I'm oh, sorry. Find the volume if the lateral area is 120. So, kato, find the volume if the lateral area is 120 centimeters. Uh. Okay, okay. So, square the yaha, base. Yeah, right prism. So, tulid straight ni siya. Dili siya tong oblique. So, ana. Yeah, imo lateral edge. Kana siya. Then, find the volume daw if the lateral area, so the LSA ni mo, is 120. So, wala takabalo pila ni ang value sa mga sides. So, imo lateral surface area is just that Katong kilid lang, ba So, perimeter times height lang. Ang height, kabalo na ta. Ang perimeter, wala pa. ba So, wait lang. Uh, I-rearrange na ulit. P, height is 10, is equal to 120. Uh, so, nasolve na to si P. Sorry. That is equal to 12. So, yeah. Nakuha na to si perimeter, 12. Yung ang volume... Mm. Volume ani is koan man. Volume is just the area of the base times the height. Kato lagi ang problema lang nato no is wala tay s. Pero given naman actually imong perimeter. Perimeter di ba nato of a square is just upat times s, 4s, 4 sided times katong kilid kilid niya, 4s. So perimeter is ano man? Is 12. So mo na to si s, pila si s, 3. Kuha ninyo. Pero dili pa ka ng answer ha. Sa so, pilay area sa base, S squared times height. Pila si S? 3. Square naman na siya. Pilay height? 10. Sa so, pilay answer, uh, 9, 90. 90. Centimeter cube. That is your volume. Diba? Easy lang? Alright. So next. The right section of a prism is in the form of a regular hexagon whose apothem measures 5 cm. If the lateral area is 360 cm squared, uh, what is the length of the lateral edge of the prism? Mm -hmm. Hexagon. 6. Uh, I'm drawing. Ko. Wait. Lang. Sige, man, ikaw, drawing, ha? Ana. Sige, ana na lang. Okay. Ooh, guess niyo niyo no. Basta mara siyang piatos. Ihang apothem. Ay, ito color din. Lateral edge, wala man ta. May gi, may gi pa ngayon, lateral edge. Ang apothem, given na siya. So, center, patulong diri ah. Naka 90 degrees ka. 5 daw na siya. Uh, the lateral surface area is 360. So, sige, formula sa lateral surface area, diba? The perimeter times lateral edge ni mo. So, that's 360. Wala. Wala ay hapon. And known si perimeter, and known po si lateral edge. No? Yung imuhang perimeter ba ya is 6 times S. S ni siya. S. S. So, wala yung punta. So, kailangan dyan yun ito masolve yun. Si S. Kailangan dyan ito masolve si S class. So, draw ta. Anong hexagon na ito. S ni ha. S na siya. S na siya. 5 ni. 90 degrees ni. So, kani, S, S, diba ni? S mana. So, kani, ilang mana siya? S over 2. Okay? 
kani ang angle class kuha man ato na siya di ba kay di ba ana oh pila man eh pila man na angle t60 divided by n pila man atong n number of sides 6 di ba so that's just 60 so 60 ni eh, kani as a whole kani katunga lang man ni 60 so 30 na siya Kuha ninyo. Kani, 60. Okay. Kana gito ah. Yeah. Kung tungaon po gini mo na siya, ana, 30 na lang na siya. Kuha ninyo. So, kung mag, so katawa ta, tangent 30 degrees. Towa. So, opposite niya is S over 2. Adjacent side niya is 5. So, mahimong, masolve na to si S. So, S na to is pila man. Sige. Mm, Tangent 30. Five point seventy seven. Ang ang side ha. Centimeters side palang na siya. So imuhang lateral surface area is perimeter times the lateral edge. Three sixty imuhang lateral surface area given naman sa problem. Perimeter ni mo is wala pa which is 6s, so 6 times 5.77. Imong lateral edge is unknown. Oy, one equation, one unknown na lang siya, ma'am. Therefore, masolve na nito mo yung e. So, pila si e. 360 divided by 6 divided by 5.77, pila man na siya, class? 10.4 centimeters. Yeah, centimeters. Ano lang. Okay, that's it.